Hello everyone. Today in this video we will be discussing the preparation of saturated hydrocarbons that is alkenes having carbon to carbon single bond. Now in the first video of this chapter we have seen what alkenes are. Now let's do it again. Alkenes they are known as paraffins because of their low reactivity. They have a general formula of CNH2 and plus 2 and have a tetrahedral structure with a bond angle of 109.28 20, degree. Now, let's check the preparation of alkenes. Our first preparation is hydrogenation of unsaturated hydrocarbons. Now, what is hydrogenation? The word hydrogenation means addition of hydrogen means the addition of hydrogen to unsaturated hydrocarbons. Our unsaturated hydrocarbons would be either our alkenes having double bond or alkynes having triple bond. Now, the first preparation here, if we take an alkene here, carbon to carbon double bond, When it reacts with dihydrogen gas, is when dihydrogen gas is added to alkenes or alkynes, it's the same in the presence of finely divided catalysts such as palladium, platinum, or ni nickel. On heating, we get our alkenes here. Now, one pi bond breaks since pi bond is much weaker than the sigma bond. The pi bond breaks. And then the pi bond breaks and then it dissipates and then to give up a single bond and then to form our alkenes here now it's the same case for our alkenes here this is an alkene double bond alkenes this is known as alkynes and reacts with high hydrogen gas the same catalyst on heating we get back our alkenes now this is the process in which the hydrogenation of unsaturated unsaturated hydrocarbons takes place for the preparation of uh, saturated hydrocarbons that is carbon to carbon single bond. Let's take an example here. If we take RC double bond CH CH two plus our uh, dihydrogen is here with the the catalyst here is nickel. Or whatever the catalyst may be finely divided, we get back our the bi bond breaks and then we get here our alkenes here. Now one hydrogen adds up here and then the other hydrogen comes and adds up it's therefore there is breakage of the bi bond and the hydrogen atoms gets attached to these two carbon atoms. The same case is for alkenes, alkynes, the triple bond. Now However, for alkenes, alkynes, the triple bond hydrocarbons, two molecules of hydrogen adds up to give back. On first reaction, it forms alkenes, and then on further reaction with the remaining one molecule of hydrogen gas, it forms our product that is our alkenes. Now, this reaction is also known as Sabadir. Sandoran's reaction. This reaction is also known as Sabadier's reaction. Sabadier Sandoran's reaction, where two molecules of hydrogen gas is used for the conversion from alkynes to alkenes. This is the reaction. Now let's check the second preparation of alkenes. The second one is for, from alkyl halides. Now. From alkyl halides. What are alkyl halides? We know that alkyl halides are known as halo alkenes. Now, let's check the first reaction. There are a few reactions from the preparation of alkenes from alkyl halides. The first one is known as Wurtz reaction. Now, Wurtz reaction, it halo alkenes or alkyl reacts two molecules of alkyl halides. Okay, two molecules of Alkahalides reacts with two molecules of sodium. Alkahalides reacts with sodium to give in the to give our alkenes with two molecules of NaX. Now, in this, the word reaction occurs in the presence of triether. This medium is a very important medium that differentiates word reaction from other preparation methods. Word in word reaction. 
inwards reaction the alkaloid on treatment with alkaloid on treatment with sodium metal in the presence of triether it gives higher alkanes now this method is known as word reaction two alkaloids react with two mole two molecules of sodium metal now the two halo halogen leaves along with this the two sodium sodium the two sodium metal takes one one and then there's removal of two nix in the presence of we there is formation of our product final product that is known as our alkenes let's see an example here therefore two molecules of metal chloride reacts with sodium in the presence of triether to give our ethane here there is formation of an ethane here now however words reaction in words reaction it, it is to be noted that even numbers of carbon atoms are formed that means our starting product was only one that means there is formation of one carbon more than the starting starting carbon starting molecule therefore of the per, per, our product here was was started here with a single carbon atom that is methane and the formation of the product was one carbon more than the starting material that is we got here ethane this was our methyl chloride and then on the formation of the product there was one carbon atom more than the starting molecule therefore we got here our ethane and it should be noted that in words direction even number of carbon atoms the product has even number of carbon atoms now let's start the second reaction okay before moving to the second reaction there is a condition in words reaction now in words reaction there there is preparation of the final product form is formed only the final product is formed only symmetrical alkanes is formed that means words reaction is used only for the preparation of symmetrical alkanes and the second point is words reaction is only is only for preparation preparation of symmetrical alkanes and the second condition is that only one type of alkyl halide is used as a starting product now the two conditions here is that in both direction is only for the preparation of symmetrical alkanes and the second condition is it is here only one type of alcohol like is used as a starting product now here we see that there's the starting product is only of the one type of alcohol halides therefore the condition is here in that of words direction but however if two different alcohol halides, if if different alcohol halides are used then what would be the reaction now if different alcohol halides are used we can see that different reactions can be now if we check here the first if ch 3 br methyl bromide reacts with ethyl bromide in the presence of sodium then what will be the first medium the first reaction here would be We'll be getting this product if these two if this reacts with if this reacts then we'll be getting this product and another that another type of product can also be of this type in the first reaction only this reacts to give the final product that is our alkanes now in the second reaction what the what the different alkaloids react to give back to give our product here and the third reaction is only the alkyl ethyl halides react to give our product therefore in this reaction in this step when different type of alkyl halides are used a, mi a mixture of products are obtained and therefore it is noted that in words reaction only one type of alkyl halides is used because if different alkyl halides are used a mixture of products would be obtained 
Now let's check the second preparation method under the preparation of organs from alkalites. The second one is reduction of alkalites. Now how does reduction take place? When metal ma when metals react with an with acids, hydrogen gas is produced and the hydrogen gas produced reduces the reaction. Now let's check the reaction here. Alkalites. This is an alkalite. It alkalites rig. Now when a metal zinc in the presence of acid rigs, hydrogen gas is produced and it reduces the hydrogen gas is produced here. Therefore it reduces the reaction to give back CH2. The halogen atom is removed and there's addition of hydrogen. Reduction means addition of hydrogen, therefore addition hydrogen is added here. Now let's take an exam CH3 Br. Now when it reacts with a metal in the presence of acid, now Hydrogen gas is produced, therefore this bond breaks. One hydrogen is taken by the, this, this carbon atom and the other is taken by bromine atom. Therefore, CH3, one hydrogen, and then we'll be getting HPR here. Therefore, this is the reduction of alkaholites when metals react with acids where hydrogen gas is produced and the hydrogen gas reduces to reaction. Now, some of the important reducing agents that are used in the reduction of alkaloids are the first is are this this is an important reducing agent the second the second reducing agents can be hydrogen gas in presence of platinum or palladium the third one can be hydrogen iodide in presence of red phosphorus and then another type of reducing agent zinc and copper couple in presence of alcohol Alcohol, this can be zinc or ROH, it's the same here. And then another type of reducing agent is an lithium, aluminium, hydride, or NaBH4. Now, these are the different types of reducing agents that are used for the reduction of alkyl halides. Now, let's check this type of these different types of reactions here. Now, when CH3 Metal iodide reacts with undergoes reduction in zinc and copper couple in the presence of alcohol on heating we get back CH4 plus hydrogen iodide. Now another example for this zinc and HCl for this reaction would be CH3 CH2Br. On reduction, we have zinc plus HCl, CH3, there will be removal of this with the, and then CH3, CH3 plus HPR, and then uh, one, another example in the presence of hydrogen either in presence of red phosphorus is CH3, CH2, Br plus hydrogen iodide. Red phosphorus at 424 Kelvin, we get CH3, CH3 plus HPR plus I2. Now, this is a very important reaction. Now, what is the there's reduction is of hydrogen ion that can be used in the reduction, but what is the role of red phosphorus in this reaction? Now, the role of red phosphorus in this reaction now CH3, CH2. Br. Now two molecules of hydrogen iodide are used here. Hydrogen iodide and then hydrogen iodide here. Now red in the presence of red phosphorus. Now red phosphorus this bond breaks and then this bond breaks. This forms one mole one molecule and then this bond breaks up. This forms one molecule and this forms one molecule therefore the first product would be CH3 CH3 plus HPR HPR plus I2 we will be getting here I2 here now the role of red phosphorus come here the role of red phosphorus is to remove iodine because if iodine is not removed the iodine reacts with this with our alkene with our ethane this is our ethane molecule there Iodine so form rex the iodine form rex with our ethane molecule to, fo to form CH3 
CH2 are a further reaction text. Therefore, we can see here that the role of red phosphorus is to remove iodine from the mixture because if iodine is not removed, it reacts with the ethane molecule to form alcohol halide again. Therefore, red phosphorus is used in this re re reaction process. One more preparation method is left. I'll be explaining that in the next video. Mm -hmm. For now, please ignore the background music, mm -hmm. background sounds, and focus on learning uh, the preparation methods.